Catherine Zeltner is with the Basilica's rector at this week's Knights of Columbus Supreme Convention in Philly. Father Dennis Gill is the rector of the Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul. Thank you for joining us. Father, what relics will be on display and what are you hoping pilgrims take away from this? Well, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. The cathedral will be a focal point, that is the cathedral in Philadelphia, will be a focal point of the World Media families. And we want to encourage families to come to the cathedral all throughout the week, not only for the celebration of the sacred liturgy, but also to meet some of the saints especially the co-patrons of the World Meaning of Families, and that would be St. Gianna and Pope St. John Paul II. Mm. So we're hoping that having these saints who are of living memory for so many people who will come, it will inspire them in their own personal holiness and the holiness of their family lives. We also are going to have on hand the relics of the parents of St. Therese, mm. which are presently located in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia at the Carmel which is in the northern part of the city. Mm -hmm. And as another example of family life, holiness in family life, with the soon-to-be canonized parents of St. Therese, available as well for people's veneration and inspiration. And I understand St. Gianna's wedding dress will be on display. Why is she such an important saint for the world meeting of families? Well, she has a remarkable story. First of all, she's a, a modern saint and herself was a medical doctor, a well-educated Italian woman who made the choice to spare the life of her own child and give up her own life for her child. And you know, life in so many ways is threatened today. It's quite vulnerable and we have the issues of abortion and euthanasia, both ends of the spectrum of human life where the Christian message needs to be very loudly announced but not just by words, but by example. And so we have the example of St. Gianna. And she did this as a married woman, a wife and mother. Mm -hmm. And the wedding dress is a sign of that. And I think people will have great access to her by seeing her wedding dress. And it sounds like this will be such a spiritual journey for all those pilgrims. Father, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Glad to be here.